I'm a pensioner with a modest income, and not long ago home energy was relatively affordable. Our total cost for gas and electricity was around £500 a year, but five years later it's over £1,100 and by far our largest outgoing. This is before recently announced increases of 35% or more. We live in a modest, well-insulated two-bedroom property and have cut back on heating. We shower rather than bath, have thrown out our tumble dryer, we turn off appliances not in use and use low energy bulbs. We will still struggle to pay our energy bills. As a result of government policy, we've ended up with most energy supply companies in foreign hands. We are dependent on gas and coal imports and forced to pay whatever is demanded to keep the lights on in Britain. The days of a government-controlled non-profit making industry with a fair deal for the end consumer seem long forgotten. The emphasis seems now to be on maximising profits and benefits for the fat cats running the energy companies, their shareholders and the politicians who support them. Little change can be expected. The managing director of Centrica, the parent company of British Gas, recently suggested that people wear an extra jumper at home. The Prime Minister held talks on price control with the power companies. And a few weeks later, electricity price increases of 35% were announced. The future looks bleak, particularly for pensioners and others with modest income, unless there is a radical change in government with a move to a fairer society.